What is a production possibility curve? A production possibility curve or production possibility frontier is a graph which shows how much of two products or groups of products can be produced with a given set of resources. It also shows the opportunity cost of producing more of one at the expense of the other. This graph will show the maximum amount of goods which could be produced in an economy. It will also show whether the economy represented is underperforming or performing to its maximum capability and also what mix of goods that economy is producing. The output of goods in an economy can be described as capital goods and consumer goods. How can you use your resources to best effect? You can make capital goods, which are goods used in production, such as machinery and infrastructure, like roads and ports. You can make consumer goods, like trainers, furniture and CDs. Every economy produces a combination of both. This curve represents the total potential output of goods in this economy. Anywhere on this curve, the economy is working to maximum efficiency, using all its resources of land, labour and capital to best effect. Each point on the curve shows a different combination of capital and consumer goods. At point A, the economy is producing a lot of capital goods, but only a small amount of consumer goods. At point B, the economy is producing fewer capital goods and more consumer goods. Every economy needs to find the right balance. And to achieve that balance, you may have to stop making one product and use your factory to make another, or redeploy some of your workforce to produce something else. If the economy moves from point A to point B on the graph, it is still working efficiently, maximising the use of its resources. But the decision has been made to shift towards making more consumer goods at the expense of capital goods. This is called opportunity cost. The cost of the decision to move from Q to Q1 on the consumer goods axis and produce more consumer goods is that the opportunity of making as many capital goods has been lost. Q to Q1 on the capital goods axis shows the amount by which the production of capital goods has been reduced in order to make more consumer goods. Anywhere below the curve, for example at this point, the economy is underperforming because the factors of production are not being fully utilised. For example, there may be high unemployment and factories and offices lying empty. You can see that the production of both capital goods and consumer goods is far lower than it could be. Anywhere above the curve, for instance this dot here, represents a position that is not currently possible in this economy. It's not achievable given the country's current resources, but it might be a target to work towards that might be achievable with more land, more labour or more capital. But if you increase your resources, then the potential is there to grow the economy and the curve shifts outward because the factors of production have increased. Maybe there is an increase in immigration and your workforce has grown, or it has become better skilled through education. Maybe you reclaim some land from the sea, or you discover reserves of oil and natural gas. Perhaps there's some development in technology, or your society has just become more entrepreneurial then you can reach the target represented by point D and you can produce higher levels of both capital goods and consumer goods. But if some or all of your factors of production are reduced, then the maximum potential that your economy is able to reach is reduced. This might be because there's been a war and production has been disrupted. It may be because of a natural disaster. Perhaps an earthquake has destroyed buildings and infrastructure. Now point C is sitting on the production possibility curve. You're left with lower quantities of capital goods and consumer goods, but that's the best your economy can manage. 